Hey everybody, welcome to Housing Matters. On today's show, we're continuing the conversations we've been having with Mabu from Bangladesh and Hey Marie from Fiji. And in this particular episode, they're focusing on the cultural shock they face when moving to Adelaide. Let's have a listen. Uh, affordability, uh, I mean, for an international student, affordability is the most priority thing, I, I think, I guess, at least for me. So for me, I'm coming, I have come from a third world country. So like, uh, here rent is too much for me. And uh, since I'm living by myself, I'm helping myself. So, so I always prefer the, uh, I mean, the affordability is first preference and the cleanliness and all other sharing, all these things the later on. So that's why I, I'm coping. In my country, like Babu, we pay rent for a month. When they said a week, I couldn't believe that every week we had to do that. When I first came in Australia, I didn't, uh, from Bangladesh, I, I came, I moved from Bangladesh, so I, I didn't know anything about the housing system here. So when I first moved here, it was everything, uh, everything was new to me. So I was, and the housing pattern is different. The contract system is different because in our countries, uh, more or like uh, we have a contract, but it's not like that much thing, like verbal thing, you know, the, like so, uh, what I found is everything is in like in papers you have to do. And when I first do the list thing, so it's like three page thing and full of condition number one, two, three, four. So it was totally new to me. And I have heard from some of my community people that uh, you have to do that, you have to do this before you enter in the house, you have to take all the pictures, all the problem, problematic things, picture. So I was like, oh, really? <laughs> I have moved here for, you know, it's kind of peace things. This sublet, uh, sublet issue. There's no document that tells uh, this other girlfriend of mine from Kenya. You know, she did not sign any agreement like that. She has uh, certain time to go to the kitchen, not all the time those kind of uh, restrictions which uh, was causing her a lot of stress because she has different times of coming home. Now they tell her that they lock the gate if she's late uh, by eight. Students want to study at the uni till very late. But you see, that's what a landlord sublet can do to a person because they're considering their own safety. They want to lock the gate and she comes late and they don't give her a key. So for, for any new arrival to this country, so my first advice, I mean, the, this is the most important advice for me, is that don't go for long contract initially. Come and stay anywhere that is in short contract, because if you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose like less money. So once you are here, then according to your needs and priority, you go for long contract. Initially, don't go for long contract. This country is big on legal things, things to write down. So I would share with my friends or whoever's coming later, make sure that there's something written down. Agreements that you do verbally, it has to be down on paper. So that if things don't go the way you expected, you have something to fall back on. Um, students need to, to be aware of those things. If you're an international student and have a story to share, we'd love to receive your comments below or please give us a call or drop us an email. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video really interesting. And for more on housing and homelessness, please subscribe to Housing Matters by clicking on the button below. And stay tuned for more Shelter SA YouTube videos coming soon. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs> I told you everything. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>